Kara Jacobson, Marketing Arts Land Paper League People, and I'm still in sunny Colorado. Um, I just wanted to kind of, this is sort of a worksheet walkthrough, kind of my thinking and how to do cost comparisons. I am currently um, running, just started running an eBay shop. I've been running an Etsy shop, and I'm really interested in the difference of where you would place things. And I've worked with, well, I haven't had the shops. I've worked with a lot of sellers who kind of do vintage things, which go on Etsy, um, or do, you know, products that Etsy um, sellers could use. So they are actually physical products. Um, and, and I wanted to figure out how to um, figure out, A, whether I should list it on Etsy or eBay, and B, whether I should, um, how I should price it, right? So that's the first thing I have to figure out. So what I'm going to do is I made this worksheet so that I can do it. So for me, I have an antique, I actually have two antique pencil sharpeners that I got from a friend. So they're going to be free as the cost to me. But so there's two antique pencil sharpeners. Um, I think that I'm going to list one on one and one on the other so I can check because most of it, what I love about it is marketing. But what I have to do first is to do the market research to find out, is it better to list them on eBay or is it better to list them on Etsy? So I'm going to have the item with keyword and I have four places for this. Now you may, if you may want to do like, um, like instead of this being the item, this being the category and like pencil sharpeners or, or, um, office supplies or something like that. And then you could price out different items within that, um, kind of category. But for me, I'm doing just the pencil sharpeners on one page. I'm going to put it in my, uh, walking around planner that I'm going to take with me when I go shopping. And I should have a whole bunch of these because I'm, I'm doing kind of um, magazines, ads, office supplies, things like that. So I can have kind of data with me so I could just flip through it. And I'm a paper person. I know that I could quickie look it up on the um, internet and I have done that. And if it's something I don't have a paper for or an idea, then I will do that. But this is going to be for kind of my staple items, right? I wouldn't do this for every single thing I list. I can eyeball a lot of things, but I... And especially because I have two of them, right? I want to see which place I want to sell them on. So I have Etsy tags and keywords. I have listed price for Etsy. Um, listed price for Etsy and the number of results. We're going to go through this. So listed price for Etsy. So what I did was I did an Etsy search. Um, So let's go back and forth here. Nope, we don't want that. We want this, and then we want this. Okay. So Etsy tags and keywords. So as I'm doing this, I want to see, okay, so pencil sharpener is obvious, right? So this is on Etsy. There seems to be like a vacuum hold. I'll have to see if mine has that. And then, of course, any brand names, right? And then desktop. So I would start writing down some of these words. They're Boston seems to be. Um, Ranger is a brand name. So I would kind of start writing those down so that I could look in when I'm shopping. If I find any more, I could look at that. So as you go through, what you want to do is you want to find out Etsy, the tags and keywords, the listed price, um, because we can't do sales data in Etsy anymore. So the number of results, which you get right here, right? 80, 182 results. Those are listed. Um, the high and the low, and then, you know, I'm going to do a little research because it's, it's like a brick, right? This little pencil sharpener thing's like a brick, so I want to find out how much people are charging for their shipping, so then I don't have to stress too much. I know that uh, 919 is how much this guy's charging for shipping. Let's go back, 919, and then this one is charging, wait for it. $8.95. So if it was the difference between $8.95 and $9.19, I would charge $9.19.
Now, I am um, really considering doing free shipping. Doesn't mean that I don't know that I have to build that price into the amount. So because I got these for free and everybody's listing them and, and say I were to find out that they were listing them between 20 and 25, you know, 20 and $30, I could absolutely, with all the shippings being at like nine bucks, um, United States only, I could do 20 bucks and then make $20 and still do free shipping. So you want to kind of, that's why you're doing this market research to find out. Now, I don't know that free shipping is as big a deal on Etsy. So I would probably t kind of take a peek and see if there is, and I would write just here, you know, low would be free, right? Um, so that's the Etsy one, and you would do that research and find out what kind of the highest prices and the lowest prices, and you're going to have all different things. Like this is a, a pencil sharpener, but I have a pencil sharpener, right? Like I don't have a camera pencil sharpener. I saw a turtle or, okay. Oh, those are, I thought those were bullets. I'm like, what does that have to do with pencil sharpeners? So I just want to find these like pencil sharpeners, right? Next, I did my research on eBay. So old pencil sharpener, um, old English table pencil sharpener. The other thing I love is that it's starting to give me the categories. So there's an area here for Etsy or eBay for the categories. So I have all collectibles, pens and writing in instruments sold. And I did not search for that exact, um, that, that category like I did a general search and so this is what I'm getting I'm so I'm gonna start writing down those categories so I don't have to think about it right number of active listings so the number of active listings let's do this again because I've been messing around without you yeah so oh those these are sold so let's take out that sold filter that's what I was thinking I thought I had done sold Okay, so there's 281 active listings. So I would want to put um, listed, listed price, active listings, 281. And then I want to take a peek at the high and low. So this is to 21, 24. It's got a little sale on it. Um, yeah, I don't have a creepy guy, you know, pencil sharpener. I just have a pencil sharpener. So for this, I would be looking down here. Vintage old school vacuum hold desk pencil sharpener, uh, hand crank giant pencil sharpener, um, vintage made in America. Okay, so as we look at this, these prices over here on eBay are kind of looking lower, right? So we've got for my little pencil sharpener, we got like 15, 16, 19, 18, so we're not really getting over 20 bucks. And over here we got, well, we got 12, but we got 43. This guy really likes his pencil sharpener. So I think he's an outlier, right? Um, an outlier being somebody who's way overpriced um, and not not really realistic. But so we got these Rangers. This, this gal selling a couple of them, I think, unless it's a featured listing. Um, but so these guys are selling them over here for between... 20 like 20 is the least so in the question of should i sell it on ebay or should i sell it on etsy i'm kind of falling on etsy for this one right it's more of a vintage thing so let's go back um i would want to check your you know shipping costs and then the nice thing about ebay is we can actually look at the solds right so like this is awesome you can list anything you want for any amount but now we want to know how much they actually sold for. So we're going to go to advanced and we're going to click just the sold listings. And that's where we got 183. So you're going to put sold listings, 183. So we know there's a market for them, right? Um, oh, look at that fancy one. Mine's not fancy like that. It's kind of ratty. Um, so 49, bought it now. It doesn't look old, but old school. Okay, so they spent $15, but that's not vintage. Somebody who wants a a new pencil sharpener is not my market, right? They're, they're just not. I'm selling vintage. I'm selling antique. Here we go. There's one. Um, not good. Oh, it needs repairs. Okay, so that's okay. Now, whew, they scared me. 
Look at this guy, $35, stupendous. It looks like it was cleaned up more than mine. Here's a uh, best offer accepted, but it was going to be somewhere under $15.99, right? Um, this guy, old advertising, excellent, so $24.50, and then $10. So it looks like in the sold prices, if you're willing to let it sit for a while, it looks like you can actually sell them for between ten and twenty dollars. Oh, here's a whole bunch of them. Uh, sold nineteen ninety five. Sold twenty seven, but with free shipping. So this is that. This is right in my sweet spot, right? That's kind of what we figured out already. But now let's really. So I would put. I would put notes. I would put probably list on, um, I'd probably list it on Etsy first, and then if it doesn't sell on Etsy, scooch it over to eBay. Some of you guys are willing to list it on both places at once. I am not coordinated enough to do that. I do not want to sell something on eBay and on Etsy at the same time, and I know the chances of that are not high, but for me, it's just not worth it. I'm going to have stock one place or the other, and I don't care. Um... So, old pencil sharpener, that's what we're going, but there's another word, word for old that's not quite antique. So, we have vintage pencil sharpener. And then, so vintage pencil sharpener, so the prices are going down, you say vintage and it goes down. So, on eBay, the vintage pencil sharpeners are in that, gosh, 10 buck range. I'm not loving that, right? I don't like that. I like old better. I want people who are looking for old pencil sharpeners, not vintage. So then, okay, so now we're up in the 40s again, but there's an awful lot of them, right, down here in the 10s. And those are auctions, so they are probably set a reserve higher. Um, <clears throat> but I'm not loving this. I'm not loving the price that they have. So vintage, which I would put on this second one, right, I would put a note, new eBay for vintage, and not okay, okay? So vintage over here, <laughs> all right, do we even want to do this? Because vintage ain't our friend here on eBay, right? So let's look at vintage, and just the sold. We're going to be getting down in the five buck range. This is not good. We don't like vintage. Terrible. Oh, 23. Six. <laughs> Five bucks, right? You can kind of guess as you're going. Um, Eleven. Took the best offer. Nine. Ten. You know, that's, that's, they may be buying them to resell them too, right? I kind of like that one. That's kind of funky. But we're not doing vintage. Vintage on eBay is bad. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, now let's go to vintage on Etsy. So we got 24, that one's broken, we don't, mine are fine, I don't want to have, like, is it broken? No, I guess it's good, uh, it's a terrible picture, it looks broken, it's a terrible picture, very cute picture, 25, 21, so on Etsy, vintage is fine, we're still in that 20 to 40 range, right? Um, nobody's dropped their price. Nobody's really killed the market for it. Um, so on, on Etsy, I would definitely say use vintage, but we need to know this stuff guys, right? Like this is not okay. If just by putting vintage in eBay, I'm going to lose $10. I don't like that. Okay. Now we're going to do, let's keep doing eBay first. Um, so antique, antique pencil sharpener. So that looks a lot older than mine, and it is in worse shape. And I'm getting the impression that mine is not antique, right? And I think that that's super important for you to remember that that people who are are willing to pay top dollar. They know whether your thing is antique or not. Like, that's an antique. Mine's just kind of old, like this. Like 1950s-ish. Um, 
So I think it would qualify for antique, but I don't think it is an antique or what people who are looking for antique pencil sharpeners on eBay are looking for, right? We're not seeing that. How many do we have? Antique pencil sharpeners, 280 listings. Let's see how many sold. And I'm just writing all this stuff down, right? Like this is really interesting and helping me figure out which place to put it on and how to price it. So 1150. Ball bearing pencils, that kind of thing. I like that. But that's not what I have. It's not what I have. So we're talking in the 20s. So by the time you get to antique, I think that there's probably a market somewhere in the middle that is just for old, like me. Like, I need a pencil sharpener for my little children. I want it to look old, but I don't want to spend money for an antique, um, especially that doesn't work. Like, I physically want to use it. Um, so this is this is obviously an antique. This is really cute. Um, but so they're they're buying real ones and I don't know that they would actually use them and I need to use them because the pencils are killing me in my house. Um, okay, so now let's look at Etsy. So these look older. Like really guys, I mean, you, we may want to throw that antique thing out there. Well, there's the Ranger, so she does have that um with antique maybe as a tag right like maybe not in the title but maybe as a tag and this is where knowing how to do things on different etsy places because somebody might look up antique like this is vintage this is not antique right so that's vintage um we do not have you know antique in the title and then we have antique in the tags, right? So then we know. She's really selling that as a vintage pencil sharpener with um, just the tags that say that. And so that's fine. If that's what's coming up, we're only seeing four pages. So there's only 200 results for fabulous antique um, pencil sharpeners. So I think that's really interesting. I love doing this kind of research because you can guess all you want, but who would have known that, um, you know, vintage pencil sharpeners on eBay lose you 10 bucks. Like, that's the only thing that was a glaring red flag that said, you know, please make sure you do not put that, that keyword in. So we only want to do old, we only want to do antique. And then I would say, based on all of this, that I would definitely, I will definitely be starting this um, process on Etsy. And then if it doesn't sell on Etsy, I'm going to be moving it to eBay. So there you have it. That's our cost comparison worksheet.